I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna learn how to. I'm gonna learn how to crochet. It's gonna take me like five seconds. I just like wanted to know how to crochet, so I'm gonna do that. Took some pictures of what I needed, and I sent it to my mom and dad. They went to the store to go give me some supplies so I could crochet. So let's do it. What are you thinking about that? She can that probably 25? make that hat, right? Look oh, how cute that hat is. That is a cute hat. She can make that hat with the 25 piece set. Sure. I like it's only $7. Okay, we're gonna get this. Crochet, okay. co crowd of crochet, pot of crochet. Yeah. Crowd of crochet. Got some crochet. Got a crochet. I told them to film while they picked it up so I could have some footage, but um, <clears throat> I was not expecting this. I got this the things and then I got um okay I think um I'm just gonna just see what happens. I got some yarn here. I'll put a picture up of what I'm going for. Something like that. 100 percent acrylic yarn. I don't I don't know what that means. I think I have to use two of these to do like a Okay. Is that how you do it? Um, I'm really mad at my brother because he took my camera and used all my card. Normally, people that crochet look really smart because um, they're... So, we're going to put the glasses on that I haven't worn in a couple months. I think we just start off by taking this off. Whoa. All right, we need to watch, we need to go on a tutorial. How to crochet for absolute beginners, part one. 15 million views, holy moly. Simply Daisy. My name is Nick. Whoa. Stitches and skills you'll need to know. Let's get started. So today you're going to need yarn, you can use any. I'd recommend getting 100% acrylic. I did that. I did that. Aluminum crochet hooks. I just got this set of four with a bunch of different sizes. Aluminum. You can use them for. So today I'm going to be using a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. So to start, you're going to make a. I have knot that. With your index finger pointing downwards, and you twist it upwards and put your thumb through that same loop, and you grab the tail with your index finger and your thumb and pull through, creating a loop. And you put your crochet hook in and pull the yarn to tighten it. This is what? how you end oh. the yarn. Soda. Soda. <clears throat> what? Oh. oh. What is that? I'm just gonna toss this over here. And there's my camera thing still charging. That my brother did not charge. Um, and my poor camera just hanging out there. Some slippers. Okay. So to start, you're going to make a slip knot. To do this, you hold your own like so, with your index finger pointing downwards. Downwards. And you twist it upwards uh. and put your thumb through that same loop. Okay. And you grab the tail with your index finger and your thumb and pull through, creating a loop. Like you're cutting with a knife. And then towards your thumb and pull through. And it just continues like that. So away from you. On the left side, turn to face towards you, and then towards your left hand, so that it will easily go. Yeah, I don't know about this. We're gonna restart. With your index finger and your thumb, and pull through, creating a loop. So Chain. we're gonna hold the crochet. Try to twist the twist hook the away hook from you. Away. Like that. Dude! So away dude, from dude. you, on the left side, turn to face towards you. Oh, that's called. I did it again. Over. I did it again. Four, five, six. One, two, three, four, seven, five, eight, six, nine, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven. See, do you see this? That's perfection. A single crochet. Single so crochet. Insert our hold up. Yarn over. Hold up. Hold up. Case. How? Wait. Hold up. And pulling through both loops. So we used, we skipped yarn over, come out, yarn over, and pull through both loops. That's one single crochet. Wait, don't go to the speed. Don't go to the speed. No, 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 Go to the speed. Okay, so my phone just turned off because I ran out of storage on it. Okay. 
I think it looks pretty good. Um, I don't really know um, what she's doing there. Um, I'm going to come back to you guys when this is like all the way done, which should be in like 20 seconds because I'm already like really good at this. Something's happening um, and it's not sweater. I can't seem to get the thing through the loops anymore. Um, I'm gonna start over because this isn't really, we're gonna try for a sweater this time. We're just gonna cut this. Okay, it's a whale. Um, I'm gonna name her, um, Crochelin, Crochelin, Crochelin. By the end of my next, uh, Friends episode, I should have a sweater. So I'll, um, document back and I should have a sweater. It's been about, uh, 30 minutes. What am I doing? Uh, I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. I just don't know what it's supposed to look like. And, okay. I did so that. Then we're going to do, so we turn our work. And then we're going the to work. work. It will turn into a fall sweater for the fall. This is where I'm at. I think it looks pretty good. Come back to you when I have the sweater. All right. I don't know what this is. Um, this is a dolphin. What the heck? You see, I got the, I got the idea. A couple more episodes, friends. I should be good. And I think this is it. I think I've actually done it. You can see, as you can see, the camera is charged fully now. Cut the last of the um, yarn off. So here it is. This is all I have left. I used all of it. Um, I just wanted to show you what I made. And it started out from this uh, piece. This is the, the whale named Crochetti. This is the dolphin. I didn't name this one. And um, I just want to show you what I made. So I made this. Um, this is the last, this is what I made. Uh, it took me a couple hours, uh, I don't know how long it took me. Kind of lost track of time. So I made this with my yarn, and I don't have any yarn left, because I used all of it to make this. I added some buttons. I'm just really tired. I do very feel happy. I do be happy. I do thank you to Simply Daisy for the help on the crocheting. Okay.